This is question 8 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here asked to work out the total surface area of the triangular prism. Give the units with your answer. So what we need to do here is we need to work out what the area of each of the faces are. So when it says total surface area, that simply means the area of each of the faces. So here you can see I've just coloured in that back face. So we'd need to work out the area of that face there. We would need to work out the area of this rectangle at the front here. We would need to work out the area of the triangle there, the rectangle at the back, and also the rectangle that is touching the floor. So all that we're going to do now <coughs> is simply calculate the area for each of these. So this we're going to start with the triangle at the front. So to work out the area of that triangle, I'm going to have to do 3 multiplied by 4, and then half it. So that gives me 12, divided by 2, that gives me 6 centimetres squared. So that's given me that area there. Um, I've got two of those, so I can say that I've got another 6 centimetres squared. I've got one at the back as well. Then I'm going to need to work out the area for the rectangle at the very front here. So that's going to be 5 multiplied by 7. So that's going to give me 35 centimetres squared. Then I'm going to need to work out the area of the rectangle that is touching the floor. 4 multiplied by 7. And so that gives me 28 centimetres squared. Then I'm going to need to work out the area of the rectangle at the back. So that's going to give me 3 multiplied by 7. So that's going to give me 21 centimetres squared. Now all that I need to do is to add these up. So 6 plus 6, that's going to give me 12. Add on to the 28, that's going to give me 40. Add on to the 21, that's going to give me 61. Add on 35, that's going to give me a final answer of 96 centimetres squared. Notice here that it asks you to give the units with your answer. So giving the units would be cent we're talking about area, so it's centimetres squared. And that's worth one mark on its own, just giving the correct unit, so centimetres squared. Okay, if you got that wrong or if you need some further practice, take a look at this question here. <coughs> Find the surface area of the prism, pause the video, attempt to answer this on paper, and then press play to see what the answer is. Okay, so let's go through this. Again, we're just working out the area of each of the faces. So I'm going to start with 3 times 4. So I work out the area of the triangular face at the front and divide that by 2. That's going to give me 6 centimetres again. So that's 6 centimetres squared. Again, I've got two of them. I've got one at the front and one at the back as well. So that's another 6 centimetres squared. Then I'm going to need to work out the area of this face here. That's going to give me 5 multiplied by 11, which gives me 55 centimetres squared. Then I'm going to need to work out the area of the rectangle that is touching the floor. That's going to give me 4 multiplied by 11. So that gives me 44 centimetres squared. And then I need to work out the area of the rectangle at the back. That is going to give me 3 multiplied by 11 centimetres. So that's going to give me 33 centimetres squared. Then adding all of these together, adding all of these together, that's going to give me... 55 plus 44, that's going to give me 99, plus 33, that's going to give me 132, plus 12, that's going to give me a final answer of 144 centimetres squared. So the, surf the total surface area, the area of all of the faces added together, would be 144 centimetres squared.